Love and Hip Hop, Season 2, Episode 11, I think. Y'all forgive me, Justin has been on the run. Justin J has been doing everything, baby. And I'm tired. I'm taking my ass to sleep as soon as I get through doing this review. I'm going to give it to y'all early so y'all going to get this shit out the way. And y'all going to be harassing me when I'm trying to do my training. While I'm trying to do my stuff, y'all ain't going to be tweeting and inboxing me on Facebook. Because, child, y'all going to get me rolled up, honey. I can't. I just can't do it. I just can't. Uncle Sam don't want me to have me trying to have me pay attention so I can learn how to do CPR and all kind of crazy shit. But y'all forgive me for my hair. My hair is laid like struggle. I just haven't had time to do anything. So y'all forgive me. Your boy looking like struggle, and you know, I will admit that, but I will be rectifying the situation Friday. Well, sometime this week. A lot of shit been going on. I'm trying to get this shit together, my fucking y'all, y'all can tell I'm doing something with Uncle Sam, because I don't have any kind of facial hair. Y'all know I don't like facial hair. Well, I don't like my face being naked. I like to have something going on. So y'all don't give a damn in my face. Y'all care about this review, so let's go in and go and get into it. First of all, hustling Mrs. Stevie J, which I'm not surprised. Hustling talks all that shit like she doesn't love Stevie J. She doesn't miss, miss him, but she clearly does. And she was like, oh, my God, crying. Stevie J put that same shit he pulls on Mimi when he wiped a tear off her damn face. Just, you know, just try to make her, I don't know, it's some kind of shit he does. And when he touches her, will touch any female, it's just like all they, all they brain cells are just completely, all that common sense, like, bitch, you a stupid shit, it just goes away and they just start crying. So I don't understand I just don't understand. But anyway, nobody's checking for the Puerto Rican princess. Steve J basically just said that nobody's checking. We got to produce our own videos. We got to pay for all this kind of stuff, all this kind of stuff. And Hustling talking about all this money she made. Yes, Hustling, you're making plenty of money doing these drive through performances or whatever you're doing. And then, you know, I love you. But it's not as much money for you to be paying for your own high quality video and considering we don't have any music from you. So uh, I'm just going to need you to work on that. Um... Uh, Let's get on Nikki and Mimi's um, confusing ass relationship. If y'all don't know who Nikki is, Nikki is Nico, honey. And that's going to be her new name for the rest of the season because I'm hoping she doesn't be on season three. But I'm not here for Nikki. I'm just not. The only thing I'm here for him is, is his waist below because when I look at his waist and his, his body look good, but that face, it's just too much shit going on. It just needs. It, it just. He looks like Frankenstein. He just got too much shit. He got a boat here, a slug here, like a birthmark here. And I have no problem with people having birthmarks on their face. But it just, I'm, I just was, I'm not feeling unique. And then you had the nerve to say something about a threesome about Carla Red. So, tears that Carla Red mess ass saw fucking Nikki at the damn, with well, Nico at the damn club. And then end up getting, you know, giving some friend, uh, Carla Red fucking friend his number so he can talk to Carla Red. So Carla Red tells him all this kind of shit. She's like, oh my God, you trying to talk to me? Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm just trying to let you know. And me be like, girl, you already messed it. So, child, this motherfucker gonna say, Nikki, Nico, gonna say some well, uh, what you think about having threesome right when Mimi walks out the door? And Mimi like, nigga, did you just say a, free, a threesome? And she just walking up, she talking all that shit like she always do. Da, 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 all that kind of shit. She just talking, she talking, she talking shit. And I'm like, child, this shit just looks staged as shit. It looks staged as shit. I just can't see him saying something like that. So he was, they were just talking about it. And he, he just, it just, he just like, what's up? What's up? I want a threesome. So I'm thinking. Maybe people know, like, he must know the T with Mimi. The T must be true about Mimi like having a threesome. Because y'all know they said that Mimi and Hosseline had a threesome with Stevie J. That's how they met Hosseline. That's how Hosseline got, you know, started. But that's a whole nother story. And that's neither here or there. And we're not going to talk about that. Because I don't give a damn. I want to talk about these bow tie ass lawyers, little scrappy ass head at this thing. So scrappy and fucked up and he did some dumb ass shit. Give him up from cold ass piss, and they don't want to take their cold ass piss. They're not taking the sample. Scrap it. Let me tell you something. I, 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 I've been hearing. I don't want. And this is a shout out to all y'all. If you motherfuckers smoking dope and all this kind of shit and dumb, it's nobody's fault but yourself that you reason why you keep getting in trouble. If you can't stop smoking for a little bit of time, so you cannot, so you can pass the drug test, you are a fucking fool, and you need to just, just, just stop. You just need to, you, you just need to stop. Just stop. 
you you apparently don't give a fuck. And let's scrap it. If you the shit was really serious, you would stop. Like you would stop, stop, stop. But you don't give a fuck. So therefore, why should they give a fuck? They don't want to take your cold ass piss. I believe. I believe your dumb ass because you're not very smart. You. I believe your dumb ass went in with some cup of piss. But I like how Erica had a man back. Even though it's not her man, she said it's gonna be okay. I, I can appreciate Erica. I'm starting to like Erica a little bit because it seems like she's toning down the ratchetness, which I can really appreciate. But I was not here for the bow tie as lawyers with the cheap ass suits. So I don't know how big these guys are in Atlanta. If they are, the suits did not look high quality suits. I cannot stand one of these black men put on these pimp gray store for men fucking um um city trends ass fucking suits. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Go get you some real damn suits. Stop wearing this back in the day shit. Nobody checking for that. Your suits are supposed to be tailored. They're, they're supposed to be nice and fitted. They're not supposed to be big. I just was not here for it. I'm just just not. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Carla Red. Carla Red want to be so popular. She's not. Carla, Carla want a cracker? Carla want a cracker? She talking about her, her and weave line and all this kind of stuff. It's just like Carla Red. Girl, I ain't going to lie. Yo, you be on point. I'll give you that. You do be on point, but it's like Carla Red. Nobody's really checking for your ass, and you're trying to make it shit like you just like just pow pow, bang bang bang. Carla Red, no, we're we're not really doing. We're not really featuring your ass at all. But your makeup and shit be on point, and your hair was flawless. Victory, you know it was. It was doing the most. I liked it, but Carla, we just we're just not really here for you. Carla want a cracker. That's gonna be a name. Um, so Rashida fucking 12 month pregnant ass goes up to Deb. Y'all know who Deb is. I hated fucking Deb's fucking hair. I hated it. I fucking hated I hated that and her car way up ass fucking eyelashes and whatever his name. Um, who is Deb? Deb is who child? I mean, who mama? Fucking who is that motherfucker? Flocker. I, I don't care, Flocker. I don't really support your music any damn way. But your mama looked a damn fool with that fucking. I'm I'm just I, I'm gonna make a fucking. I'm gonna try to dress my shirt to make it look like her wig. Cause the hoe was looking like this. She was just looking like this, like she like she just. It was about this much hair. Let me see. It was about this much hair. It was about this much hair. She was like, I just don't. I don't. I don't understand. Um. Rashida, Rashida, the girl, it's just, I just, uh, Deb, 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 Deb. I wanted to take this red tail comb and just pull the glue out your goddamn eyelashes. I just wanted to pull, pull the, the, the yakky. It's like you had yakky in your damn eyelashes. And you got, you make too much, you, your son got too much money for you to be sitting here looking like that. So you need to fix that. But Deb was telling the damn truth. She was telling the damn truth. Child, Miss Deb said, Look, your ass is pregnant. If you really wanted to do this shit, you wouldn't have got pregnant. She was just being honest. She was like, look, girl, you're pregnant. And, you know, there's not much. It's not much you can do if you're pregnant. So I agree with that. She was just telling the truth. And then she was, she was getting pissed off and oh, you saying the same shit Kirk's saying. But she's saying the goddamn truth. You are a rapper, Rashida. So you rapping to myself, you're going to hit it from that bag. Pop it in my pussy, pop it, pop it, and you fucking pregnant. Is somebody already hit it from the back? Well, they actually hit it from the front or the back because they ejaculate in your ass. You and your hub with this gay ass relationship. It's just a fool. And Deb was just child. Deb was just being fucking. She was just being real, and she was like, "Well, I'm trying to do the whole pregnancy. They, they support pregnancy. Child, we are supporting only certain artists is pregnant now. You can't fuck. I don't know why y'all think because Beyonce got up there and dropped the damn mic." She done dropped the mic and started rubbing her damn stomach. I don't know why you hoes think y'all can start doing it, child. Beyonce, that shit was legendary. Okay? And it would never be done again. Can't nobody go back and do this shit. It, Beyonce done already... She done did that shit. It's sketched in stone, bitch. You can't... It's not a fucking iPad. That shit, she done engraved that shit. Like, I did it. I was here. She was there at VH1. Bang. And um, but she was like, "Well, I know Beyonce. She on a whole nother level. I'm glad you know, cause child B, child B. I don't even want to talk about them. Y'all know B. Y'all know she got the power. Y'all call Illuminati, whatever fuck. But B is she know y'all hoes in the game. 
Anyway, so we get to, I don't know if this, I don't think it was Aryan's dad's funeral. But we get to Aryan, she had a church service for her grandfather who's, who's passed away. I don't know if it's a grandfather or her daddy passed away, you know, and I, and I was, I was kind of being nice. It felt good to have a black church on TV like VH1. It felt good to hear that, like that soul, like that emotion on the TV. I felt it. But what I did not feel was um, Ari and her fucking Nanny McPhee motherfucking outfit. I did not like that white shit on the side. I just was not here for it at all, Ari. I'm not giving you no slack, child. I, you know, I'm sorry about your your, your grandfather, but that you looked like you was ready to clean some houses. Clean, you like you was about to be monitored and made with Miss um Miss Mimi, honey. So I don't know the Nanny McPhee outfit. I was just not here for it at all. Um, it's just not. So, child, they talking, and Kay Michelle, she's singing. She's saying she can't get the words out, but she was very emotional. She's crying, she's stuff, and they talking. And, uh, so they go outside, and, you know, they trying to uh, argue once again. So I want y'all to apologize. I want y'all to talk. And she was like, maybe, like, I'm trying not to hear this shit. I done had a bad week, da, da, da. She said, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it, which I can understand. She just was not feeling it, but, you know, Ariane was trying to use the fact that it was her grandfather's, you know, service of she just lost her granddad that, you know, people were going to, you know, they were going to be nice for her. And Mimi said, fuck that shit. I'm just not here for her. I had a bad week. But did y'all catch that shit? I was the only thing to say. For some reason, I don't know why. When they were sitting, they was filming right next to their granddad, Pontiac granddad. Why did I just think that was, why did I think Arian was going to hop in that grand? If Arian would have hopped in there for granddad. Y'all could have took me to the altar and buried me right there in front of the altar. Because I would have been dead. It would have just been too motherfucking funny. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, we're moving back on to Scrappy Ass. You're going to jail now. You're going to jail, Scrappy. I mean, it's nothing else you can do. You were kind of pissed off um, at the commencement because they wouldn't take your sample. But what the fuck do you expect? They didn't have to take your damn sample. Uh, your sample. You, your piss was cold. I don't know why y'all think when you piss, your piss is supposed to be at least 98 fucking degrees. It's supposed to be 98 fucking degrees. I don't understand why y'all think that your piss, piss is going to be 90 degrees, going to be 7 degrees. I don't know why y'all think that. I don't know what y'all think. I, don't, I, don't, just, I just don't. So I don't really give a damn about uh, scrap ass going to jail. I really don't give a fuck. Tick and take ass jail. I'm tired of seeing Miss Wet Poodle her in a damn way um, and scrap ass. I'm really doing good when I'm seeing him. So, uh, Miss Baby Bop, a.k.a., um, what's that girl? I don't even know her real name because I've been calling her Baby Bop since she's been on the show. Who is Baby Bop, y'all? Tell me who Baby Bop is. Baby Bop is, who is Baby Bop? Anyway, Baby Bop ass was on a date with this, this cute, bald head, muscle head guy with tattoos all up here. He was handsome, and I like how he did something different. He pulled up in the car for some flowers. He talked to her. I don't see how there was a day, and I don't see how y'all tell me we haven't done this in a long time. All y'all did was run around town on a horse carriage. I mean, but it was cute. I'm glad y'all had a conversation. I liked him. He was just, he was so cute, he was ugly. Or he wasn't that cute. He just seemed because he had a body. But um, he had pretty white teeth. I'm going to tell you something that gets me as a man with some pretty ass white teeth. I love a man with some pretty ass white teeth. That's, a, that's, that's what gets me. So I'm just um I'm just loving it. And I love how we were listening to K Michelle. Very special. They've got some hen and chilling in line. Very special. I am start very VSOP is starting to grow on me, y'all. It is starting to grow. I'm really liking it. Really liking it. So moving on. We talking about this shit no more because Baby Bop ain't important. We get into the some kind of the main fan. We getting back to the Folex. That Nico didn't bought uh, Mimi ass. So, you know, what's his boy's name? Stevie J and Mimi at the park with their daughter. The daughter's very pretty. But the daughter was getting on my goddamn nerves. I just didn't feel like she should have been in that. She should not have been in that scene. She didn't get anything. They was ignoring the shit out of her instead of talking. And she was, she was peeping everything. She knew everything that they were saying. She knew what was going on. And I was like, child, that girl, she, she heard mom and dad. Mom and dad shouldn't be having some of these conversations that they're having. Child, they were talking, and then she was just she was kept repeating, telling me it was daddy fault and all this kind of stuff. It was a fool. So you know, Stevie J is a motherfucking pimp. He wasn't. He he just he just has to have his cake and his ice cream too. He just has to. And I I just don't understand why. But um, 
I feel like the daughter should have been. I want the girl to leave because she was getting on my damn nerves. Still love. She was still pretty, but I just was, didn't want. I wanted some. I want to hear them talking. They can't talk like they want to because there's a child right there, which I can understand. Da, da, da. So let's get to what I thought was part, one of the funniest parts. And when Rashida ass was down there, like she about to give birth to a motherfucking watermelon and a couple of motherfucking grapes and just the whole Chiquita Bonita fucking, the whole fucking, just a whole bunch of fucking fruit. She just sitting there looking like the fucking first pregnant woman. It's sitting there looking like Miss Spider. I just, she was just, uh, oh, hit, uh, uh, uh. And Dale was just looking like she was just fucking disgusted. She was fucking disgusted. She was just, she was just fucking disgusted. And here come Kirk ass. What's going on? I, you taking money out the checking account. You're not supposed to take check money out the checking account. So I'm like, oh my gosh, here she come with these three motherfucking earrings talking with. I'm just like, Kirk girl, Kirk, 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 Kirk girl. But this is the thing. I don't know if y'all know this or not. I don't know how true it is. It, it's kind of hard to take somebody's name off of a fucking account you, you, without the other person's permission. I don't even think you can take it out with the person's permission. I don't know how true this is. But I've heard, and, and it happened to me because I tried to put one of my friends on my account a long time ago. And they said, you can't do that. You know, you won't be able to take them off and all this kind of stuff. They were responsible. So it's just like, Kirk, child, you can't, you just shut the fuck up. You know, I'm married. It's her money. And you, oh, I'm just so sick of it. But Deb was speaking, once again, she was speaking realness. Talking about, you know, if you really want to, she made so much damn sense. She said, if you really want to, Rashida, what you could have done was, you can write music while you're pregnant because you know you're real emotional. Where you can get hormones, you can write some good shit, stressed out, write some true life shit, and you can be promoting your makeup and like like I kind of seen you, Rashida, selling your makeup and all that kind of stuff in your weed because you're pregnant. I can see they're beautiful and it's a woman staying pretty. I saw that and Deb saw this. It's all about the money, it's all our business. And we, as people see that, that you sitting here looking like Miss Spider, we know we can tell. That your ass is pregnant because we all be like, why we can't see the sex? And you're not looking sex. You're not looking like a, you know, you're looking pregnant. And with the music line that you're doing, you can't rap talking about some dick. I'm a boss bitch. And you're pregnant. It's just two things. that It just looks pure ratchery. And we're not going to support it. It will not be on iTunes. Not. But, um, child is a fool. But the real, the real funniest part is Erica and Shay ass being motherfucking stupid. Just Erica and Shay just I, Erica and Shay come to um, Carla Red's weave and champagne shit event, and she's just talking and talking. So I think it's who it is. It's Baby Bop and um Baby Bop and Erica talking. Child Shay walk in and Shay. I don't know who walked in, but they was, you know, she was speaking. Eric was like, child, what time is it? Child, I got this child. She was not checking. So, and here go, baby Bob. Ain't y'all going to speak? I hate when motherfuckers. Why the fuck would they speak to each other They're not? Like, why would you do that? Uh, I mean, I just, I took it so y'all could apologize. Why would you bring it to an event like that to apologize? Like, why? Why? And I don't know was I the only one that y'all, because I had to rewind that shit about three fucking times. I was screaming. That girl coming in when they were about to fight. She she coming in the mother with them crutches all coming through the door. <laughs> if you didn't see rewind it when they first got into it, some girl opened the door. She was trying. She had one fucking crutch and she was trying to get in. The it was so goddamn funny. So damn funny. But uh, Eric and Shay fighting and shit. I can't wait to see who gonna get the ass beat next week. But I really think it's gonna be Shay. Child, Shay had on that cheap ass motherfucking bangled fucking jewelry. She trying to slap Erica ass, and she in a slap at home, goddamn self. Shay, sit, sit your ass all the way fucking down. Sit your ass all the way fucking down. Okay, you just, I mean, just keep Erica's name out of your mouth. That's all you have to do. Keep Erica's name out your mouth. Talk about scrap. Believe Erica. Erica ain't checking for your ass. Erica is not. She's not even checking for scrappy ass right now. Okay. And I already told y'all she's supposed to be talking to Floyd Mayweather, so she ain't checking for none of the motherfucker. But anyway, um, the, the whole fight thing, whatever they fucking, she it, it was just so motherfucking funny. Then child when that motherfucker when she slapped, she tried to slap what's her name? Why the fuck Baby Bob spin her ass all the way around on the other side of the damn room, keep from getting hit? <laughs> she wasn't finna be that shit. It was just funny, but overall. Episode was good. It, it, it was, you know, it was it was a lot of shit. 
it was like a progress report of everybody's shit together, and I liked that. It was like a progress report. It was like the like we're in the middle of the season, and we're trying to wrap up and get the stories together before we do some grandiose fucking ending shit. And I can appreciate that. Like the episode, funny. Can't wait till next week because I'll be home, chilling at the house, fucking off that week. So I cannot wait. Um, y'all like, subscribe to my video. I appreciate it. I did a video for y'all late this week. And y'all already got it almost to a thousand views. Yes! I love it. I love it. I love it. I appreciate y'all's support. Once again, you know, if it, if it wasn't for you, I, I wouldn't be doing this shit. I appreciate y'all supporting me. Like, subscribe, my, uh, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you feel. And um, as y'all can see, I'm, my allergies are clearing up a little bit. I'm still sniffling and shit, but I'm getting better, okay? Thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Deuces.